spring has pretty well arrived here in Ohio and you guys know that makes me so very happy. With all the changing of the seasons, but especially spring, it just always continues to remind me of the faithfulness of God. The seasons always change and with a lot of life feeling out of our control and super unpredictable, I know that God always has me in his hands. He's always faithful and he is never changing. And even after a long cold winter, spring comes again. The sunshine comes out, it warms up, the Lord is unchanging. Anyways, with that being said, I am really excited to be getting into more outdoor springy things. And I thought I would take you guys along with me in this vlog. I think I'm gonna film the next several days. Right now, Keegan is in the process of digging out a flower bed in our front yard. And I am thinking about getting started on painting the brick on our house. Our house is a little ranch house and it is like half brick, half siding. And just in the front, the back, it's pretty much all siding. In the front, it's just half brick, half siding. You've probably seen little bits in my videos. And I'll show you here what I'm talking about. Normally, I really like to keep the character of brick houses. I mean, painted brick is pretty, but you just can't undo that. I love the look of brick. But our house is not a historic gym. Our house is like a 60s ranch and the brick is not adding anything to the character of the house. In fact, it's making the green of our house look like super minty and it just doesn't, it kind of clashes. It doesn't go well together. So I think that we're going to paint our brick kind of a, a little bit of a grayish, whitish, creamish lime wash. Yeah, that totally makes sense. But fingers crossed, it's always kind of scary to do big home projects like this, but I think that it's going to really give the outside of our house a nice facelift. I think it's gonna really change the look though. So I hope it looks good. Anyways, let's head outside and see what we're working with. So right here, if you can see back there, there's that tiny bit of white painted on the brick. And that was just kind of a little test run to see if we liked the color. And I think it's pretty close to what we want. Fingers crossed that it's gonna look really good. So it's going to be a nice white color paired with the siding that is pretty green. Changed into my cute paint outfit. I have one of Keegan's old shirts. Nice, oversized, and cozy because it's still a little bit chilly outside. It's like in the late 40s and 50s today with like an old jean skirt. So Keegan is going to help me get the lime wash together. You guys, I feel so unprepared for this. I hope it goes well. I feel like painting the exterior of your house feels kind of serious, feels like a big deal, not something I just wanna wing, but here I am, winging it. So, I'll take you guys along, let's hope for the best. What are we doing here, Keegan? Oh, I am mixing together the lime wash paint with water uh, so that it will soak into the brick because brick is very porous, so if you just paint it, it's actually water that's trapped in it and it could get mildewy. So instead we're using this lime wash because lime wash will soak into the brick and kind of stain it or dye it white or whitish. It's kind of more of a beige color, but that's what we're going for. Wow, you learn something new every day. Every day, and this is natural. Ooh, we like that. Yeah, it's just crushed up limestone. So when we're painting something like an off-white color, sometimes it's hard to tell like the true shade of it. When Keegan first painted that, that test painting, I was like, wow, that looks super white. Am I sure that's like the shade that I want? But you're only looking at like a small portion. So what's kind of nice is that our garage walls, they are actually like a very stark white. So we can kind of use them as like a test to see what our coloring looks like compared to an actually stark white to be able to better tell the shade that we're working with. So over here, I'll show you our little test strip to show more of the true color of what this lime wash is gonna be. I literally thought that it was stark white, but it's clearly not. Like it's clearly a little bit more beigey, has a little bit of a gray tone, and it really is the color that I was looking for, but it's really hard to tell sometimes at first. So it's nice to be able to compare it so you can see the true color. Try 
trying to paint in between those bushes, it's not for the faint of heart. I'm glad that Lime Wash is pretty forgiving, as far as I know, with kind of just splashing it on there because I don't have a lot of technique. I'm just going for it. Wish me luck. Okay, using this roller, absolute game changer. I was using the brush because I was watching a YouTube video and that's what they used, but I was sitting there and I was like, this is going to take me literally all day, plus some. So definitely use a roller. This is so satisfying and just does such a cleaner finish. Should have been obvious, but I'm liking this a lot better. Okay, the first half of the front is done, at least with the first coat. Trusting the process that it's going to get whiter because the gray is currently clashing with the green. Yeah, <laughs> stay tuned. Let's hope we didn't ruin the front of our house. Right, Pepper? Pepper is not sure what's going on. I could be a handy woman and do it myself, but apparently not. You can already see the color lightening as it's drying, so I know the process is working. We keep having neighbors and people driving by and staring, and the people pleaser in me is just like, ah, do they think we're like ruining the neighborhood, making our house super ugly, you know? We're the new people on the block, and I'm kind of like, I promise it's gonna look better, I, I hope. I mean, not that it looks terrible, but I don't think that it looks great yet with this coloring. All right, Keegan is mowing the lawn, so you might hear him in the background a little bit, but I am gonna go ahead and feed my sourdough starter because I'd like to get started on making a loaf as soon as the starter is active. It might be tomorrow or later tonight, I'm not sure. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit of tidying and cleaning up the house. Keegan's cousin is coming over to stay with us tonight. So I just want to get her room together and just get some chores done. So let's do it. Good morning and happy Sunday. I haven't completely gotten ready, but we have potluck at church this afternoon and I want to quickly make up an apple pie. This is gonna be super easy because I already have a pre-made crust and pre-made pie filling. So this is kind of my like quick thrown together last minute thing to be able to bring. So I'm gonna do that quickly and then get ready to head to church. My starter, this is where it was at. So it's very bubbly and active. I'm hoping to maybe start it when I get home from church. I can't start it this morning since I need to do the stretch and folds, but mm, it just smells so good. <laughs> church I wanted to quickly show you what the outside of our house is looking like it definitely lightened up a bit it's still like a grayish white let me show you how it looks okay this can kind of give you an idea here's kind of that coloring overall honestly pretty happy with it our white posts like this behind us I think I would like to do more of like 
some type of wood post to kind of bring a little bit of warmth and a different color to contrast it, but that'll be a different project for a different day. This is really fun. I really like the way it looks and it looks really great with having mulched the front and everything. So it's so fun to see things like house projects coming together and it kind of turning into the home that you envisioned. Okay, so I think I'm gonna head to Jayla's here in a little bit. We'll probably hang out with some friends today. But like I said, my starter is nice and active and I wanna be able to bake it tomorrow. Oops. Anyways, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up and then you do three sets of the stretch and folds every 30 minutes. And so I think I'll just bring my bowl of the dough to Jayla's and I can just do the stretch and folds there. But first, I'm going to mix it up. And the recipe that I use is the one from Farmhouse on Boone. I'll link it down below, but I really like it. It's a super easy beginner one that's what I am. Definitely a beginner at this, but I think it's so fun. I actually find sourdough to be a lot easier than even regular loaves. Pepper and I are on our way to Jayla's. Keegan is following us in his motorcycle because he's going to be going riding later today. Such a nice day here. So she's going to go play with her cousin kitties at her Aunt Jayla's. Come on, Pepper. All right, it is about 10.30 p.m. and we just got home. We had a really fun day just with our friends and we had a book club tonight. So my sourdough has been sitting out proofing. Hoping it didn't overproof. I tried to leave it in the car where it was a little colder, but it has gotten significantly bigger. There's a good chance it overproofed a little bit. So I'm going to shape it and then put it in the fridge to hopefully bake tomorrow morning. And fingers crossed that it will turn out okay. I think with sourdough, it's easy to let your life kind of revolve around it. Like, oh, it needs to proof here. I need to do my stretch and folds now. And sometimes there's just like days where there's a lot going on and you kind of have to just make your sourdough work around what your schedule is. And that was what today was. It was like, I didn't have a chance to shape it maybe when it was technically supposed to. I just like, I think sometimes that can scare people from starting the sourdough bread, but it's really, it's okay. It's actually pretty flexible. I say that this is like my fourth loaf of making it. So, you know, but that's just what I found. <laughs> The sourdough came out almost perfect, had such a nice rise. It turned out so much better than my last loaf. I will say it has some like little grooves from the folds in the parchment paper. And I had that issue with my last loaf. So I'm not sure if anybody who is a little bit more experienced with sourdough knows how to kind of have more of a perfectly round loaf. It's really not a big deal, but just to make it as pretty as possible. But I love how the design turned out on top. It's so fun. Today is Monday and today is the day of the solar eclipse. I actually have the day off work, which is really nice, really fun. This morning, I am going to go to a little pop-up shop that's happening for the eclipse in our area. 
and my mom who has a cut flower business is actually selling there and I'm gonna go work for her for like a couple of hours this morning and sell some flowers and kind of walk around those shops so I need to get ready to go there and yeah it's gonna be an interesting day I'm really curious to see how it's all gonna turn out I think we're planning to go over to a friend of ours to watch the eclipse so it's very hyped up in our area and i'm curious to see what it's gonna be like i think it's gonna be really cool i hope that it's like worth the hype who knows it could potentially be cloudy it's really sunny right now but it's a little sketchy around the time of when the eclipse is gonna happen whether or not the sun will be out so we shall see anyways let's get going We are sitting down and preparing for the solar eclipse. Right now it's like halfway covered. Maybe when it goes over, it'll just be like completely dark. I know, it is definitely dimmer, but. I think it's, I don't think it's going to be pitch black. I knew it wasn't, but it was supposed to be like twilight. Yeah. Well, we've got... This is weird. It feels like my eyesight's going weird because it's like bright out, but... Minutes. Yeah, we still have time. So, and everybody's like got shadows on the face. I know, the temperature really went down. It's 3.06. Whoa! Oh my, oh my word, look at this! Is so cool! Oh my word! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my word! That happens so fast. It does like almost make you emotional. I know. I'm like about to cry. <laughs> And just like that, it's bright again. Jack was kind of scared. What? Aww. Okay, the solar eclipse was a very, very cool experience, especially if you lived in a spot where there was like totality, which it was in Ohio. It was so cool. I knew everyone was hyping it up and I was hearing a lot of mixed things, but I found it to be just amazing like I was so awestruck by it it's like I knew it was gonna happen but seeing it seeing it happen was just really really crazy we were with our friends Kyrell and Sydney and we were talking like we should just make a whole fun day out of it and do dinner tonight and grill it's also just the most beautiful day today it's been in the mid 70s which we have not had this warm of a day here in ohio and it just it just makes me so happy it's been such a good fun day i'm actually about to head to aldi because i need to just get a couple groceries for us to stock up for this week i just did a little meal plan i need to grab some stuff for a little grill to do with our friends tonight i think i'm gonna make some pasta salad and some fries. So, I need to grab a few groceries. Are you coming with me? Date, Keegan is coming shopping with us. Let's go. All right, we just got back home. It's 
about 10 o'clock. I want to say thank you so much for coming along with this vlog. It was kind of scattered, but it was fun to take you guys along with me the past couple of days. I hope that you enjoyed this kind of more vlog style through a few days of my life. I am so excited about spring and all the newness that it's bringing and I just love this time of year so much. I'm sure you can tell. Very happy. Loving it so much. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. It's always so appreciated and thank you so much for your support on my channel. That is all for today's video. I'll see you next time. Bye!